Hola, mis amigos. Buenos dias. Um, so today for first grade in world language, we're going to be talking about um, or answering a question that we talk about a lot. And that's the question, como estas? And of course, you guys remember como estas means how are you? Um, usually at the beginning of class when we meet, we sing our como estas song. And then uh, we take we practice answering that question in different ways. So what you're going to see uh, using the emojis today should look pretty similar to what you do in class. However, there are quite a few slides and some different things for you to do. Everything today is going to be done right in Seesaw, so that makes it a little bit easier. You do not have to print anything. But I did just want to share my screen with you today um, just to make sure that there is no confusion. So what you should see is my Seesaw page, and here's the activity, Como Estas, How Are You for First Grade. You're going to click on Add Response when you're ready today after you read my directions. Your, yours looks a little different. I have to click on my sample student, and then it's going to pull up our activity today. And you're gonna see all these slides over here that you're gonna be uh, clicking through and working through before you end up saving your work and sending it back to me. So what you're going to do, first thing, when you see a page like this, basically it's my way of communicating um, not necessarily new information to you because you've seen this information, but information nevertheless. So I have the question, como estas? which means, how are you? And we're answering that question using the verb estar, which means to be. And we're saying, yo estoy, I am. And then there's three basic ways that we answer that question. If someone asks you, como estas? You can say, estoy bien, I am well. You can say, estoy mal, I am bad. Or you can say, estoy más o menos. I'm so so, when we do that in class, right? So if you said, como estas? You would say, estoy bien. Estoy mal, estoy más o menos. Once you've taken a minute and looked at these words and tried answering and saying these phrases just like I just did for you or with you, you then go to the second slide. Here you're gonna see the same question, como estas? You're gonna see the same way you start to answer that question, yo estoy or estoy, I am. And then you've got your three emojis. And you need to match the Spanish word with the correct emoji. So for example, if you want to say, I am well, estoy bien, you would just click over here. Well, actually, you have to turn off because um, you'll notice that my blue pen is turned on. So I'm going to turn him off by clicking over here on this tab, the, the hand holding the tab. Then I should be able to move up here and drag my words. So if I want to say, I am well, estoy bien, because I have a thumbs up. If I want to say, I am so-so, Estoy más o menos, or let's do bad. I am bad, estoy mal. I'm gonna click over here, drag mal under here. And then your last one would be to drag más o menos. I'm not gonna do that one, but you guys can. All right, let's look at the next slide. This slide has the same question, como estas? And you're starting to answer it the same way with estoy. The only difference here is you've now added this word muy. And muy in Espanol just means very. So you'll notice when we wanted to say I am well, estoy bien, we had one thumbs up. If you want to say I am very well, estoy muy bien, two thumbs up. Sorry, my screen's over here. Más o menos stays the same. So I am so-so, estoy más o menos. If you want to say, I am bad, estoy mal is one thumbs down. And how do you think you would say, I am very bad? You would say, estoy muy mal. Okay, two thumbs down. Estoy muy mal. I'm very bad. You'd go to your next slide. And here's your words with the boxes again. Here's your emojis. And you're just going to drag the correct Spanish phrase underneath the correct emoji. Hey guys, if you get confused, what can you do? Go back to the next slide. They look exactly the same, okay? So if you get confused, just go back and check it out again. I do want you trying to say these Spanish phrases. So ask yourself, como estas? Estoy muy bien. I know it's muy bien because muy bien means very well. And I've got two thumbs up, so I'm going to click and drag muy bien underneath, okay? And you would do the same for the rest of these over here. I know my um, my little 
uh, video box is in the way. Okay, so you're with me so far. The next slide, we've talked about all of these words. Estoy feliz, I am happy, big grin. Estoy triste, we have some tears, so estoy triste means I am sad. Estoy cansado o cansada, I am tired. Cansado, if you're a boy, right? Y cansada, if you're a girl. And then estoy enfermo, I am sick. You can see him saying, achu, he's sneezing. So I am sick, enfermo, if you're a boy. Estoy enferma, if you're a girl. All right, click on the next slide. What do you see? You see your words that you're going to just click and drag. So if I have feliz, I am happy. Well, I remember that one's over here, so I'm gonna stay estoy feliz. That one should go right over here, okay? Oops, let me move that back up. Um, your next slide. These are a little different, guys. So if you only get to the slide six, numero seis, and you wanna call it a day, that's fine. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge and you wanna keep going, keep going and look at these next couple slides. So sometimes in Spanish, instead of using the verb estar, you use the verb tener. Tener technically means to have, okay? But you can use it to answer the questions with certain things, with certain expressions, when you're asking, como estas? So question doesn't change it. Como estas? How are you? If you wanted to say, I am hot, you would say, tengo calor. Tengo calor. Right? And he's kind of sweating there. His tongue's out. He's hot. If you want to say, I am cold, tengo frío. Tengo frío. If you want to say, I am tired, another way to say this, Tengo sueño. You can see him with the Z's up top. Tengo sueño. If you want to say, I am hungry, you would say, tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. I have hunger is what that's saying. And if you want to say, I am thirsty, tengo sed. Tengo sed. I have thirst. So now just like we um, did in the last ones, you go to that next slide. If it'll let me. My little face box is in the way. Let's see if I can move it. Mm. Uh, oh. Let's see if I can click behind me. There we go. So here we go. So now we're answering that question again. Como estas? If I wanted to say I am hot, tengo calor, click and drag. And you would continue with tengo frío, tengo sueño, tengo hambre and tengo said. So this is kind of like extra credit, okay? And then the next slide um, just kind of reviews all of those different expressions. Once you're finished, make sure you click up here. That'll save your work. It'll upload it, and it should go right to your journal um, for me to see. My computer's a little slow today. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Have fun with this. This should be fun and something different for you guys to work on. If you have questions, as always, um, feel free to email me. All right, guys. All right, I have to flip back to my Screencastify screen to get out of here. So just bear with me for one second um, while I try to do that and close out my video. Adiós, mis amigos.